Hi, I'm Krista Flash, Communications Director. And I'm Streets and Stormwater Director Rocky Hinkle. Thanks for joining us for this edition of City Council Highlights. Here's what happened at the April 16th City Council meeting. Newly elected City Councilor Christy Gillespie was sworn in as the representative for Ward 3. Scott Udy, who represents Ward 4, and Johnny Parks, at-large councilor, were also sworn in after being re-elected. The councilors then voted to re-elect Craig Thurmond as mayor and Udy as vice mayor. Congratulations to all the new and re-elected officials. On the consent agenda, the City Council authorized a grant application to fund improvements in one of the older parts of our city. The Community Development Block Grant helps fund improvements in low and moderate income neighborhoods. If the grant is awarded, it will help pay for improvements on Detroit Street from 4th to 9th. The long-awaited improvements to 1st Street are coming soon, now that Council has awarded a construction contract. The 1st Street Rehab Project was approved by voters in the 2014 General Obligation Bond Package. In presentations, the council recognized a local fourth grader who's helping keep the city clean. Jackson Mears, a student at Country Lane Intermediate, volunteered with Keep Broken Arrow Beautiful to help pick up trash along Elm Street. Jackson and his mom spent about two hours helping clear the street of trash. Thank you so much, Jackson, for helping keep our streets litter-free. In general business, sand volleyball courts are coming to Nienheis Park. In 2011, voters approved adding four courts to the park as part of that year's general obligation bond. We expect the courts to be open in early fall. Congratulations to Richard Carter for being nominated to the Board of Adjustment. He was nominated by a member of the City Council and will serve a two-year term on the board. Thank you for being willing to serve. In community events, the Senior Resource Fair is Friday, April 26th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Central Park Community Center. This is a fantastic way for senior citizens to learn more about services available to them in Broken Arrow and the surrounding area. This event is free and open to the public. Free Dump Day is Saturday, April 27th. Residents may dump their unwanted stuff for free at the Waste Management Quarry Landfill in Northern Tulsa. Proof of Broken Arrow residency is required and some exclusions apply. Call 918-439-7835 for details. Brewster Days returns May 9th through the 11th. Come out for carnival rides, live music, fair food, and more. Visit roosterdays.com for hours and pricing. And finally, a reminder that city offices are closed April 19th for Good Friday. There will be no trash service Friday, but regular service resumes Monday. That's it for this edition of City Council Highlights. The next meeting is May 7th. And don't forget to check out the City Manager's Report for more Broken Arrow news. Have a great day, everyone. For the full agenda and video of the City Council meeting, go to brokenarrowok.gov. If you have any questions about items discussed in the meeting, please contact the City Manager's Office at 918-259-8419 or email mspurgeon at brokenarrowok.gov.